comets are objects that fly around space. Wow! What's that? That's a comet, Gorby. Comets are made of rock, gas, and ice. And they have tails blowing behind them. <laughs> Do the tails wag when they're happy? <laughs> no, not that kind of tail. Comets' tails are made when pieces of the comet break off and are blown away. Hi, Mr. Comet. Where do you think comets come from, Gorby? Um, outer space? Correct. After our solar system was formed, scientists think there were lots of leftover pieces. Some of those pieces are now comets. That's Halley's Comet. It flies past the Earth every 75 years. See you in 75 years! Let's write Comet. C O M E T C O M E T Comet <laughs> <coughs> Dwarf planets. Some planets in our solar system are actually dwarf planets. Those are the eight planets in our solar system. Do you know their names, Chester? Mercury. Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And what about these? Hmm, they look like planets too, but I've never seen them before. Those are called dwarf planets. They're just like the other planets in our solar system, in that they only orbit the sun and have a rounded shape. Asteroids. This is the main difference between the other eight planets and the dwarf planets. The dwarf planets haven't cleared away the space debris around them. Debris is space objects, like asteroids, ice, and rocks. Hey, that's Pluto! Pluto is the largest dwarf planet. And it's got debris around it! So, Pluto is a dwarf planet. Pluto is the largest dwarf planet. The others are Eris, Makemake, Haumea, and Ceres. So, Chester, do you think you'll be able to learn their... Pluto, Eris, Makemake, Haumea, and Ceres. <laughs> Names? <laughs> I'm a fast learner. Let's spell Pluto. Constellations. The night sky stars called constellations. So many stars. Hey, if I join those ones, I can make a circle. You made a constellation, Chester. A constellation is a group of stars people joined up to make different shapes. Just like playing Connect the Dots. The constellations have names. This one is called Orion the Hunter. Try connecting the stars with your finger. Oh yeah, now I see him. Oh, look, that one's a dog. It is, that's Canis Major or the Greater Dog. The dog's eye is one of the brightest stars in the sky, called Sirius. Many constellations have a story about their shapes to help you remember them. With that many stars in the sky, there must be lots of stories. I'm going to make up my own, all about Chester, the greatest deer. 
Now, let's test your memory. Find a matching pair. Titan. 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 Match. Nebula. 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 You found a match. Sun. 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 Match. Mar Mars. Mars. You found a match. Rocket ship. Rocket ships are powerful machines that can be used to fly to space. Rockets are just amazing. I wonder how rockets work. The Chinese invented rockets a long time ago, Willow. But those rockets were in the form of fireworks. Do these rockets fly? Rockets are filled with fuel. The fuel burns and turns into gas. The gas pushes downwards and is forced out of the bottom of the rocket. And that pushes the rocket upwards? It does, with enough force to fly up into space. Wow, must have been scary for the first astronauts. Some of the first astronauts in space were monkeys and apes. <laughs> Monkey nuts! So do you want to fly into space, Willow? It's on my to-do list, but I also want to be the one that builds the rocket ship. Find the matching numbers. Lunar Eclipse. Lunar eclipses involve the Earth, the Sun, and the Moon. What is that? That's a lunar eclipse, Chester. I've read about eclipses. I'll get my telescope. You don't need one. You can usually see a lunar eclipse just by looking into the sky. What exactly is a lunar eclipse? The Moon looks like it's shining but it doesn't have any light of its own. It's light that's reflected from the sun. Can you see what's happening? The Earth is making a shadow! As the Earth orbits the sun, it sometimes gets in between the sun and the moon and blocks out the sunlight. That's called the lunar eclipse. I wish the other polos could see it. Don't worry, Chester. Lunar eclipses happen up to three times a year. Phew! That's good! Next time, I'll make sure we all sit together! Now, let's test your memory. Find the items that begin...